Guys, today we're going over a rumoured, I've been seeing a lot on Twitter, about potential change coming to the overall power levelling system inside of Destiny 2. Obviously, there's no like major story spoilers here about any future upcoming seasons. It's just to do with the potential change to the levelling system inside of the game. If you don't want to be spoiled on that, you can close the video now. But if you do want to know what this change is and give your opinion on it, we'll just get right into it. Before we do though, if you're going to enjoy the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as it's free to do and it really helps me out a lot. Let's just dive right into it. So this leak is right here. I'll quickly go over what it says. It says the leak itself seems to be an internal presentation at Bungie where it shows some keynotes on the new upcoming power system. According to the leak, it seems the new power system is now a single character based value and players can earn and level up their power with weekly and seasonal challenges and by earning XP in game. Here's a quick overview. Power levels 1 from 100 now seem to be account based instead of character based. Players can earn power levels via challenges and XP. Weekly and seasonal challenges grant a full power level, different tiers like plus 1, plus 2 and plus 3. Players can earn power levels every roughly 250,000 XP gained. Item infusion is no more. Players no longer need to infuse gear with the tagline, use all your gear all the time. The new power level is now distributed among members of your fire team and the game will use the highest power level in a team as a reference point for the entire team. This is a very big change from what we're used to inside of Destiny. Currently, your power level is calculated by all of the individual armor pieces that you have equipped. That seems to all be going away now, and it seems to be a single count focused level. Very interesting change. The only bad thing I see about this is that now hoarding bounties and completing bounties is kind of now pushed to the forefront with it now being kind of XP based. I don't know how players will react to that, but apart from that, it seems to all be pretty good. Infusion being removed, great change as people hate having to use enhancement cores to infuse stuff, especially running out of enhancement cores is very, very annoying. Having it be account wide is very good for people that have multiple characters, but don't like running stuff on all their characters so that they're all at the same level. Having it be account wide means that all your characters will be at the exact same point which is great. Yeah, very interesting change. Let me know what your opinions are on this potential change in the comment section down below, as this is quite a huge potential change to how we interact with leveling inside of Destiny 2. That's all I have for you guys today. Remember, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That's all I got for you today, so I'll see you guys in the next one.